In the hamlet of Eastport, an artisan is taking what we often look past and making it the focus. Hi, George Delecki here, and you're at Sea Tuck Stained Glass, my little world of glass. Welcome. We do stained glass work here, anything from cabinet doors to transom lights to hanging pieces, all kinds of uh, possibilities. Sometimes people even hang them directly on a wall, which I cringe at because <laughs> it's meant to be lit from behind. Tell me a bit about your background and how you found the world of, of glass. My involvement with glass was kind of an experience in serendipity because I was a service rep and was sent to a home where a, a gentleman was doing stained glass and uh, he had, uh, at the time, it was near the holidays, he had a stained glass Santa sitting in a stained glass sleigh with eight stained glass reindeer on his mantelpiece. And <laughs> he saw my jaw drop and he said, you wanna learn? I said, I don't know if I can do this. He says, you can do it. And uh, I came back that evening, he showed me how to make a shamrock and, and my, my infatuation was born right there and then. What do you think it is about the glass that day that called to you? What was so remarkable about it? If you just look at a piece in a window and see the, the beautiful color that, that emanates from it. My favorite phrase to my students and customers is, it's like putting rainbows in your room. And uh, it, it brought me so much joy that I, I love to see people get excited when they come to pick up a commission piece and, and they realize that I wasn't lying. Here on the light are my sun catchers. These are just small little cheerful pieces. Seashells require blowing. I am literally blowing the glass to get a hollow seashell. These plates here, are these usable? Are they decorative? They're both, they're decorative and usable. We melt this in a kiln at 1500 degrees. It's sort of like baking cookies except for the 1500 degree part. <laughs> this is my real obsession now. Um, I love making marbles. Don't laugh. Um, they take between an hour and a half to three hours sometimes just to make one marble. But the, the joy in getting it out of the kiln the next morning after it cools down and seeing the beauty of it just keeps me going. I'll never get tired of making marbles. Most of my customers come in knowing something about what they want. Some of them I have to read their minds. I've done a panel for a business from their business card. I worked off people's neckties. Somebody wanted to show me a tattoo that I didn't want to see. I, I turned that job down. We have a lot of glass in here over 800 different colors and textures. And uh, it's kind of like selling a boat, you know, if you know that story. A boat is nothing but a hole in the water that you pour money into. <laughs> it's typical with, uh, typically the same with glass. You, you can never have enough colors. And it's always nice at 11 p.m. when you're trying to finish off your mother-in-law's piece to turn around <laughs> and have exactly what you need behind you. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gentle and fun addiction. This is a strip cutter. And you simply, anytime you use a cutter, it should have oil on the end. And it's as simple as that to, Whoa. to cut glass. Tell me a little bit about Eastport. I think of Eastport as a little bit off the beaten path. Um, people usually generally head to the Hamptons or they stop short in, in the Mauritius just west of us. Once you get here, it's, it's quite quaint. People, even if they haven't necessarily spent time here or heard of it, they managed to find you. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I, I have the kind of business that isn't on every street corner, so yeah. <laughs> I'm lucky in that regard. What would you say is your favorite part of the job here? Uh, favorite job is when somebody comes to pick something up and not only smiles gratefully, but gives me a hug uh, <laughs> because they're so thrilled by what they get. Now, talking with people is, is, is a joy and I've met so many people with so many different interests and, and uh, that's a bonus to me.